Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? My name is Samantha, and as most of you know, I am the Boho Witch. If this is your first time here and you're interested in making some magical crafts, you like watching witchy unboxings, or learning aspects of the craft itself, then go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss out on another video. In today's video, we are going to make a homemade clove oil spray. Now we have been getting into our rainy season where I live and that means humidity is on the rise and so is the mold. This clove spray will kill the spores and eliminate the health risks associated with mold in the air. In a magical sense, clove is known for its exorcism and banishment qualities, making it a cleanser in both the physical and metaphysical sense. I got this recipe from my cottage craft booklet from Sylvia Dressel House. This little booklet is packed with spells and recipes for the green or house witch. She hand draws her illustrations and has many more booklets as well. I will go ahead and leave a link to her Etsy and Insta down below if you want to check those out. So for this clove oil spray, we are going to need whole cloves, a Ziploc baggie, a jar for the infusing process, a carrier oil, and a rolling pin. Now I use sunflower oil, but you can use olive oil or any other carrier oil that you like. To start off, we are going to measure out one tablespoon of the cloves and put them into a Ziploc bag. Now if you have a coffee grinder or food processor, you can totally stick the cloves in there and grind them up that way. Try not to powder them too much because I have heard you want them more crushed than powdered. I unfortunately do not have either of those, so this is where the rolling pin comes in handy. Now I started out by rolling them, but quickly went into smashing them. Smash, roll, or grind till you come to your desired consistency, and then pour the cloves into your jar. Then we are going to add in one cup of our carrier oil. Now like I mentioned before, I am using sunflower oil but you can use olive oil or any other oil you prefer. I would advise against using coconut oil though because that does harden in cooler temperatures and we want this to stay liquid. Make sure your lid is on tightly and then give it a good shake. Now you're gonna wanna store this in a cool dark place out of direct sunlight for two to three weeks. After that, you can strain out the cloves and bottle the oil in a spray bottle. To use, Spray the oil on mold or mold prone areas and let it sit for about 20 minutes before wiping it clean. Now remember, this isn't just a mundane cleaning spray. It also has magical properties. Clove has banishing and cleansing properties, so you could spray it on your front door for protection or around your house if smoke cleansing isn't an option. All right guys, well that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and the recipe. I know it's short and simple, but I kind of needed this concoction myself, and I also wanted to share about the Cottage Craft booklet. Sylvia is a talented small business owner and deserves a shout out. All of her info is linked down below if you guys want to check out her booklets. Comment down below if you plan on or have already made some clove oil. I definitely am curious if this has helped anyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that jazz. Definitely stick around to see what plays next. And as always, be kind to each other. Do what you will, but harm none. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.